Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Now this video I actually found in my recommendations on YouTube. And it is a... My Ultimate Five Nights at Freddy's Origin Jump Scare Sounds. And I've actually been really interested in this. Because for the first game I was really wondering where Scott got those screams from. Because the first game it really just sounded like somebody screamed into his mic. I mean, you've probably all heard the Finance of Freddy's origin sounds. It sounds a little bit like this. So it sounds pretty scary. And I was really wondering where did he get these sounds from, so this video will be able to tell us. So let's get started. Yo, what's up guys, John Masselink here, and welcome to my ultimate Five Nights at Freddy's original jump scare sounds video. And Thanks. today I will tell you where the Five Nights at Freddy's one scream came from. It actually came from some British science fiction horror movie that was released in 1981. Wow. So now I will show you the main Five Nights at Freddy's one scream. Yep. Now, there you go. Okay, now you saw the main Five Nights at Freddy's one screen. Maybe it would be better now if I zoomed in. the original in. source. Oh! What was this film? Ugh! That hurts me listening to that. Poor lady! Okay, so you guys were hearing that she did the scream. So it's from the movie called Inseminoid, and then the CD text files went distorted the beginning part and edited the ending part. You can check that link in the description. And the actress from the movie is Judy Geeson, or also mm. known as Judith Amanda Geeson. Oh. She's the one who did the scream for Five Nights at Freddy's One. Cool. I'm gonna play both side by side, so you must hear if these screams does sound familiar. So there you go. It doesn't help. Oh, never mind, I heard it. Now it sounds familiar. So I actually thought it was Scott's son or a naughty kid screaming in a home video. But no, it's actually Judy Geeson screaming. So I will huh. tell you some fun facts about the sound. That's actually what a lot of people were thinking, is that it was just Scott's son. Uh, he has two sons, I believe. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people just thought it was his sons or, like, his wife screaming into the mic. And that's what I was thinking. But it turns out it was wrong. It was just it was just some lady's voice from an old movie from the 1980s. I need to check this movie out. I'm not sure exactly what it said because text-to-speech doesn't really work too well sometimes. Although it does sound kind of funny. But yeah, there you go. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, the original Scream was in 1981. And the X Scream sound was actually made in 1993. So yeah. Now we get straight into Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Yep. So Scott didn't record these sounds too. These sounds are actually stock sound effects. So, here's the main Five Nights at Freddy's 2 scream. Okay, now That just sounds like somebody screamed into a mic. That straight up sounded like somebody screamed into a mic. Listen. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 scream. <laughs> Sat Fred is. See? See? Okay, now you saw the main Five Nights Sat Fred is two screen. I like the music. Now here's some movie clip video called Saw Two. Okay, so you guys. Oh, wait, I didn't. I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. Here, let me let me turn up the volume real quick. Okay, so oh, 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 I think I heard it, but my volume is at 100%, but I still can't hear it properly. That's weird. You know what? I'm going to actually go find the clip right now. Uh, let me just pause the recording and go find the clip. You hear it? You hear it? There. See? There it is. Do you guys think that the scream was hmm. originated from Saw 2? No. I tell you that it came from the Sound Dogs website. So, here's part one. Okay, now here's huh. part two. Okay, so huh. you heard these two sounds. Sound Dogs was created in 1997, and then later, Scott purchased these two sounds and the sounds were in high resolution, and then Scott combined these two sounds, and put it in his second- You know, now that I listen to it, it does actually sound like they would work better combined, rather than separate. Second game. 
I'm gonna combine these two sounds, and then the main screen, so I must make sure that they sound familiar, so there you go. Oh my god the combined one sounds correct, it actually sounds like that the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 screenplays in low resolution, okay, there are some video clips that played the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 screen. Oh! Oh! These okay, I knew the- okay, the first two movies, that was- the first one was Friday the 13th. I don't remember which one. Uh, let me take another look. Two screen. Okay, that might actually be the first one. And then that's it. I do not know that These movie. These clips are link in the description. So the original and the main screen does actually sound familiar. So yeah, now we get straight into five minutes oh, at Freddy's hey spring. Three. So Scott didn't record these sounds too. Wow. These sounds are actually stock sound effects just like the second one. So, here's the main Five Nights at Freddy's 3 scream. Hi. Okay, now you saw the main Five Nights at Freddy's 3 scream. Now here's some TV show clip video called, My Little Pony. Except for ha! you. Okay. <laughs> what? He... So let me get this straight. He got the first one from a sci-fi movie from 1981. He got the second one from one a movie clip and two a, a stock sound effect website. But he got this one from a little kid's TV show. Wow. I guess he was listening to it and saw his sons watching it. Cause I mean, how old are his sons again? I don't remember. So you guys think that the scream was originated from My Little Pony? No. Oh. I tell you that it came from the Sound Dogs website just like the second one. Oh, okay. That See, okay, that makes more sense. I highly doubt that Scott was watching a little kid show, unless he was a brony. If he was a brony, well, I'm not going to trash on him because Scott's an amazing creator. But, well, I, was, I mean, that's pretty cool still. So, here's part one. <laughs> Okay, now here's part two. Okay, so you combine them and then they sound pretty good. Okay, so you heard these two sounds. These two sounds are also from the Sound Dogs website. Yep. And then later, Scott combined these two sounds and put it in his third game. I'm gonna combine these two sounds and then the main screen. So I must make sure that they sound funny. My mic's got hair so on there it. You go. I don't know if that's. Is that my hair? I, I'm sorry! Tune fast. Okay, so I think that Scott faded the second sound in. So the original and the main screen does actually sound familiar. So yeah. And maybe the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 screen is combined with Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, and 3. So I'm not so sure about that. Here is my little bonus. So now we get straight huh? into the Five Nights at Freddy's fun games. And we get straight into Five Nights at Candies. Because that one seems to be combined in with the original universe. Hinting at the fact that the first game in the Game Over Credits... The Game Over Credits literally shows bought the newspaper from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I remember that. So I tell you that Emil Marco didn't make that sound. So maybe it actually came from some random sound effect website. So, here's the main Five Nights at Candy scream. <sighs> Okay, now you saw the main Five Nights yep. at Candy Scream. Cool. Now here's some Dutch video clip that played the Five Nights at Candy Scream. Hello? Hello, Neil the fuck? Okay, yeah, that really just sounded like it would be taken from any kind of horror film or horror clip, depending on where that clip is from. I actually kind of want to watch it now. Okay, so you guys think that the scream was originated from that Dutch video clip? Nope. No, I tell you that it came from a random sound effect website. So Can you stop building it up like that? Here's the original scream. Cool. Okay, so you heard the original scream. Maybe Emil Marco edited the scream and put it in his game. So yeah. Yep. Now we get straight into the return to Freddy's. So I tell you that BFP Films 424 didn't make that sound. 
So it actually came from an SFM animation video. And also, there's a comment from one person about the screen. Is this screen from a movie? Okay, I'm actually not going to play the rest of it. Because I was more interested in the original games. But... What would the combinement of the fourth game be? Because I'm pretty sure the fourth game's jump scare was a um, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 because it had the screen. You know what? Let me just pull up the screen. So there's the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 screen. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, but I wonder where it's from. I mean, obviously it's combinement of probably the first scream since you could hear a child scream in there. And, um, yeah, I, I thought that was pretty cool. So, this video popped up in my recommendations. It is the, this video, I will probably leave a link to it in the description of this video. So, yeah, watch it for yourselves if you're interested in the fan games. I wasn't. I was more interested in the original games. They didn't even include fan games I was too interested in. Because I, I liked Five Nights at Candies, but it wasn't, like, my favorite fan game. And I, w I never played Return to Freddy's. I never even saw anybody play. I think I might have saw one of the original one and the second one. But after that, I did not play it. So, there you go. So, give this video a watch. And there are the origins for the first three screams of Finance at Freddy's. So, give this video a watch. I do recommend, recommend it. Thanks for watching. And I've got to go do stuff with my dogs now.